Ray, we do have breaking news. We're following a pursuit in Norwalk. Let's go up to Mark Kono in Sky 5. Mark? Yeah, uh, Lou and Glenn, good afternoon, everyone here. He's just around the bend here coming in towards, uh, well, let's see, the Downey area here, southbound uh, side of the 605 freeway transition to the westbound 105. Technically, they are in surveillance mode, so they are letting the helicopter do all the tracking here. This guy has been doing some uh, uh, some wild things here, driving very erratically, uh, driving very fast, and uh, uh, maneuvering in and out of traffic, causing very, very dangerous uh, situations for uh, other commuters on the road, and so for that reason, they have kind of backed off here. But uh, occasionally he will come up on slower traffic, allowing the units to get uh, closer up to him. But technically they are, oh, look at this guy, look at this guy. He's going to be fishtailing, and he might actually lose control of this vehicle at some point here. Uh, we understand this is going to be a burglary suspect, a 459 suspect, now traveling through Downey, through Lakewood Boulevard there along the westbound side of the 105 freeway here. Sky 5 HD is your only source of uh, coverage for this uh, high-speed pursuit on the 105 freeway westbound. 105 freeway westbound. Now we understand that this pursuit uh, initiated out of the Cerritos area here and it was on surface streets for a while. Uh, it came up the 605 freeway uh, up towards, uh, let's see, he got off on Florence, was on surface streets for a while, then got back on the southbound 605 to the west 105 and that is where we are at this point right here. So just passing Lakewood Boulevard, uh, this fast moving vehicle here. Uh, again, uh, the units are having some difficulty uh, keeping up with him. Uh, again, uh, technically they are calling this uh, as a situation where they are in surveillance, but because of the exceedingly dangerous situations that he is putting uh, uh, the public uh, in, so uh, they are uh, tracking this guy by the air. They are tracking him on the ground too. The closest ground units, and there are several that are in tow of this vehicle here, are, uh, well, I'd probably say an eighth of a mile back here. You can see how fast this guy is going. Sky 5 HD, we are uh, uh, pulling max power here. We're uh, just... Uh, barely able to keep up with him at this point, so he is uh, on the gas. We are going to be approaching Paramount Boulevard. In fact, we're just blazing past Paramount Boulevard right there, and now heading over towards the 710 freeway, the 710 freeway, and it looks like he's making efforts to uh, pull over to the right lane. My goodness, I mean, imagine that. I mean, someone driving this fast, passing you up when you're doing maybe 55, 60, 65, and uh, this guy's easily doing 100 miles an hour here, so westbound on the 105 freeway, just now crossing over the 710, and that is where we are right now we'll be entering the Linwood area here on the 105 freeway. Again, fast moving guy, westbound side of the 105 freeway. His first opportunity to exit is going to be over at Long Beach Boulevard. I can tell you uh, just by looking ahead, he is coming into an area of slower traffic. It's not too bad. It's just a little bit of slow and go. Moderate conditions. It's not like it's a parking lot on the 105 freeway westbound, but he is going to have to encounter, he is going to be encountering some slower traffic as we approach along Beach Boulevard in uh, the next half mile or so. Now, uh, we understand a burglary initiated uh, out of the Cerritos area. That is our best information at this time. I don't know how many suspects. Okay, here he goes. Making a, making a move, making a move over to the right, over to the right. If he continues on this track, he has an opportunity to exit the freeway in about one quarter of a mile here. Westbound 105 uh, coming up on Long Beach Boulevard. He'll put uh, That'll put him right in the heart of uh, Linwood here. Let's see what he does here. He's coming up to the top of the off-ramp. Uh, he can always uh, get off on uh, Long Beach Boulevard or stay on the 105 freeway here. So let's see what he does. He's just now coming up on the off-ramp. Okay, it looks like he's going to commit. Okay, slower traffic. Look out, dude. Okay, he's getting by some slower traffic here. Uh, at the bottom of the off-ramp here, it looks like he may have a green light because I see uh, opposing traffic uh, or cross traffic ahead stopped. And so they now, well, now they're going. So he's coming up on a red light. Okay, look out, look out, look out, look out. Okay, northbound Long Beach Boulevard here. He made the turn, and just barely. Uh, the cross traffic, uh, the light just turned green, and he just uh, scooted ahead of them as they were crossing the, into the intersection there. But you kind of see the uh, type of driving that this guy is showing us here. Again, we don't know how many people are in the car, male, female, anything like that. We'll try and uh, get that information uh, as it comes to us. But you see those windows are pretty uh, blacked out at this point. It's a dark color to Dan. And uh, we are just trying to make our way through. Okay, hang on, hang on. Here we go, here we go. He's in a park parking lot and uh sheriff's helicopter is right above right above him right above him and so we don't know it's uh, some sort of a retail outlet here but he's just on the north side he's just exited the parking lot here but you can get an idea of what this guy is doing let me send it back down to you for a second 
All right, okay, Mark Cono, thank you. Uh, if you're just joining us, this pursuit uh, of a driver uh, erratically driving high speeds. Uh, right now, he's in some sort of a shopping parking lot here, but we have seen him driving on uh, two freeways, the uh, 605 and the 105 at high speeds. Uh, we have a little bit of a freeze on the camera here, but uh, this guy apparently uh, uh, was initiated out of Cerritos uh, from a burglary call, and we have been following him here. Uh, a lot of um, a lot of the following is from the sky, not on the ground as of right now. It was sort of a monitoring situation, uh, but he has gone through intersections. We saw him cross through with pedestrians and cyclists. He's crossed over at least five lanes at one point on the 105, and Mark Kono even said uh, exceeding uh, 100 miles per hour at times. Yeah, after the 105, he actually got on the 710 and then made an exit onto uh, Long Beach Boulevard uh, going northbound, and then he's been zigzagging, uh, you know, through this parking mm -hmm. lot. Now he's back uh, on the street and uh, well, back under another freeway again. I, was, I, I assume that's probably the 710. I think he's on a one-way. Uh, he was on a one-way, and now he's turned on another side street, and a lot of times, you know, they'll head back to an area they're familiar with. I'm not so sure in this case that he's really familiar with where he is at. Uh, what is interesting, though, is he continues to drive at a high rate of speed when there's no, you know, there's no patrol cars that uh, appear to be following him. They're just monitoring the situation from the air. So he must be aware uh, somehow that there was a helicopter above him. And as you see, he just was hit by a pedestrian there. Let's go back up to Mark Kono in Sky 5. Mark? Uh, it just seems like yeah, here we go, guys. Here. We are uh, basically in Linwood. Uh, we are in Linwood on the south side of the 105 freeway. Here, he was uh, going through the parking lot of the Food for Less, right near the Plaza Mexico, and that's right off the 105 freeway. For those of uh, you who know the area here, but he went through the parking lot of Plaza Mexico, exited on State Street, went south, uh, crossed over the 105 freeway, and now we are on the south side of the 105 freeway. He's put himself into a cul-de-sac. Put himself into a cul-de-sac. Where now he is uh, basically going the other way. Uh, he is going to be able. Oh, okay, let's see what he does. Let's see what he does. He's parking. Uh, foot bail. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. Let's follow. Okay, here we go. What did he... Okay. We've got three guys, and uh, we have just seen that he tossed something into the car that uh, he parked in front of. So, three suspects on the loose in a cul-de-sac. And the L.A. County Sheriff's Department airship is overhead. The first ground unit is also now approaching... The additional units I can see on a parallel street are also coming in, so they are going to be able to pinpoint these guys here in very short order. We certainly hope at the very least here. So, okay, there's that guy. He's running across. The sheriff's department is just swarming this area here. I can tell you at least half a dozen units are just uh, coming around the area here, and they are hopefully going to be able to nail these guys. Uh, I can see that they are in foot pursuit with at least one of the guys here on the east side of Long Beach Boulevard here. This guy is still on the loose, and they... And uh, this guy appears to be the driver, so let's see what he does as he tries to evade uh, capture here. But uh, the sheriff's department uh, helicopter is overhead. He's actually in a residential neighborhood on alongside of a home, and that's going to be right on the east side of Long Beach Boulevard, right near Louise Street. Louise Street. So uh, this is all happening here where this guy is in the uh, backyard now of a home, climbing walls, trying to get to the next house on the next uh, on the next. Uh, block over here, but uh, as we come around, we're going to try and pinpoint this guy in his location here. It's always a little bit difficult when we have buildings and trees, but uh, again, uh, the Sheriff's Department uh, is following the driver. There he is. You can see he's starting to tire out a little bit there. So, okay, uh, as he comes out into that uh, alley, into out of that driveway, he's just going to come across a Sheriff's Department vehicle, and he is going to give up. That is your smartest, uh, smartest move, guy. Look at that. There's the driver in custody. So uh, you cannot uh, get away from these guys. These guys are really, really good at what they do. And no, uh, no small, uh, you know, no small part um, taken up by the uh, L.A. County Sheriff's Department helicopter overhead who was able to uh, guide these guys into the right uh, home. Guys, let me send it back to you for just a moment. Mark, what about the other two uh, suspects? I mean, we saw three of them run out of the vehicle. It's I know you can't, you can only stay on one of them, but uh, any information on the other two? I've got you there. I've got you there. Okay. Uh, he's got this. 
Yeah, we've got uh, a couple of helicopters that are coming inbound. You are only going to see uh, this uh, pursuit here on KTLA. Sky 5 HD has the exclusive uh, with all of this coverage here, but uh, this is going to be the driver here. We understand uh, there were two more, at least two more outstanding. I did see one that was being taken into custody. We presume that the third uh, might have been taken into custody. We'll try and move over to that location as soon as this guy gets placed into the uh, uh, patrol car there. So let's go to the left ridge, go to Long Beach Boulevard, and then we'll tilt up Long Beach Boulevard and stay to the left into that cul-de-sac right there where the airship is. And so we believe that at least one of those guys is going to be in custody over here. Now, the vehicle that they were traveling in uh, is going to be just right there, that uh, that dark-colored Nissan. And you can see uh, at the uh, playback of the video there that um, one of the people who got out of the vehicle um, put something into that uh, SUV or that uh, van in front and then ran off. And that was uh, at that point they were able to catch him. But uh, uh, not sure about the other two suspects, but uh, we believe that at least the one is going to be taken into custody here. But uh, this is all happening just on the south side of the 105 freeway right here at Long Beach Boulevard here where uh, three suspects uh, were giving the uh, LA County Sheriff's uh, Department a real fit uh, while they were being pursued out of Cerritos this afternoon, guys. All right, Mark Kono, thank you for that coverage from Sky 5. Uh, we, will, of course, will have more details on this pursuit that you've watched with us here for the last few minutes uh, in about 30 minutes on the 1 o'clock newscast. We yep. hope to see you then.